several people there who are in the company, so I think that sort of the group kind of keeps it going. Good evening, all, and welcome. Welcome to West Division's first table topics at International Speech Contest. Tonight will prove to be an exciting evening. So let us begin. First, let us do the opening with a pledge to the allegiance. If everyone would stand. <coughs> I pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Tonight, let us conquer our fears by doing something, just one thing, each day that frightens us. And tonight, courage which doesn't always roar, which sometimes, in a very quiet voice, at the end of the day says, I'll try again tomorrow. For each of us, this is tomorrow. Before we begin this contest, let me say that there are two contests that will go on. One is a table topic, and the second is the international speech. There will be a brief intermission <coughs> right after the table topics. And then we will proceed on with the international speech. For logistic purposes, I want to remind you, please turn off your telephones. Please set them to no sound. <coughs> I do not wish to interrupt anyone from speaking tonight. I had three of these, so I'm constantly manipulating <laughs> all of them. Restrooms. They're out in the hallway, with the exception of the men's room. The men's room is right outside this door. Ladies, you are across the hall. If you have small children and don't wish to wait at the ladies' room, there's a family room down at the other end. <clears throat> As always, be aware that no one should enter or leave the room during the contestants' presentations. You may do so when time permits during our one minute of silence. The contestants have all been briefed, the timers, the ballot counters. And therefore, we are ready to begin. With that, I'd like to introduce our contest chair, Ms. Linda Gaska. actually get uh, the timing briefing going is the dignitary list. So when I call your name dignitaries, please sign up and let us know who you are. Of course, we already know, but just remind us, especially <coughs> for the guests. We have our Lieutenant Governor of Marketing, Donna Weston. who is our Public Relations Officer. <laughs> and we have the Northwest Division Governor, John Labby. <laughs> and with us tonight is the North Division Governor, Ethel Gautier. Jerry Evans, who is our Extension Chair. We have Area 1 
Area Governor Dean Glosson. <laughs> we also have another Area Governor from the Northwest Division, Area 4, Governor Iqbal Acha. Contestants have been briefed and their eligibility determined. All have been eligible and all the judges have been briefed. So, with that, I'd like to bring up our chief timer to explain the timing rules. Ms. Carol Stroke, our chief timer, Kathy Stroke, sorry. <laughs> indicates a speech has begun. And we are using timing cards at, uh, for the international contest. They will get a green card at five minutes, the amber or yellow at <coughs> six minutes, and red at seven minutes. So we will keep it up until the time, you know, the next card comes up. For table topics, you will get a green at one minute, the amber at 1 minute and 30 seconds, the red at 2 minutes. And for the speakers, we're located at the table behind there, so you have a clear sight from us from up in front. So that's my All right. time. Thank you, Kathy. Just a couple other things. 
the only people who may protest are, are judges or other contestants. Any protest may be made orally before the accounting is done, but they, only contestants and judges can protest. Once the votes are tabulated, the decision is final. At that point, no protest can be made. So are there any questions? All right, great. Let the contest begin. Thank you, Mr. Chief Judge. Our Toastmaster for this evening is known by many names. She was our Southwest Division Governor last year, and she did such a fantastic job building and starting new clubs that she got the nickname Queen of Clubs. And she did such a fantastic job, that's why we have the West Division today. We had so many clubs, we had to split up. <coughs> so without further ado, help me welcome our Lieutenant Governor of Marketing, Donna Weston. Welcome to the West Division Contest. We're starting out with the Table Topics Contest. And the first thing I'd like to do is give the speaking order. So if you have your agenda, um, they're slightly different than uh, what they appear. <laughs> At least some of the names. Our first Table Topic Contestant is going to be Karen Rohr. Karen Rohr. The second contestant is going to be Jeff Stein. <coughs> Jeff Stein. The third person who is sitting in for Jeffrey Yankee is going to be Charles Bernstein. He's going to be contestant number three. And Stephanie Williams is not here to compete. So we have three contestants for table time. Anybody need that repeated? All right, I need the sergeant in arms to escort out the second and third table topic contestants. all the time. We do not have potholes. We have come up with this really great idea that doesn't let you have a pothole. And you don't have curves and you don't have these things that cause your cars to be bumping all the time that make you have road repairs. The second thing is we have more water all around. We have ponds and streams and rivers. And the third thing is we have far more nature. We have awesome trees. Trees are everywhere, not just from your community, or not just what you know them to be, but all kinds of trees. They just make you just so happy and so excited to be relaxed and peaceful. So our road systems are gone. They're much more um, accommodating, and our trees are more beautiful, and our water is everywhere. 
So as you pass through this world that I've now come to after 10 years, you are more relaxed, you are more at ease, and you look around with such wonder and such beauty that you can't even believe it. Don't you just wish that you could fall asleep for 10 years and wake up like this? Thank you. <laughs> Contestant number two, Jeff Stein. Like Rip Van Winkle, you fell asleep for 10 years. When you woke up, you found that all your hopes and dreams about our world had come true. It was truly a wonderful place. Name three things that happened while you were asleep. Let me repeat. Like Rip Van Winkle, you fell asleep for 10 years. When you woke up, you found that your hopes and dreams about our world had come true. It was truly a wonderful place. Name three things that happened while you were asleep. Jeff Stein. Isn't that the first thing we probably do? Each and every one of us would sit there and pick up and go, where's my electronic portable device to tell me what's going on and what time it is? Especially the ones that have the, uh, the clock where it like syncs with the world clock. So you know it has to be true, right? I mean, think about it. What reaction would you have if you knew 10 years had gone by? That's 10 years of your life clock. Boy. I'll tell you what, I think there are a few things for sure I would hope would be better. Without question, I would hope we were a more positive society. Mm -hmm. Let's be honest. When you watch television today, how many of their thoughts are negative? How much of what we hear is what we can <coughs> do than rather than what we can do? Mm -hmm. Internet's the same way. You go on message boards, almost disgusting. I would hope at that point we were a better society. That we knew that positivity was better than negativity. And that as a society, we would all grow together. So that would be the first thing I would hope. The second thing I would hope is that as politicians, they would all get together and figure out a way to get to the common good. Because when you listen to them, they all seem to want the same things. Whether you're a Republican, Democrat, Anybody in this room all really want the same things. We're just all saying it very, very differently. If you think about it, that's what communication is all about. The differences in how we say things and how we do them. So I would hope that we would find a way to bridge those communication gaps. 
like I said, I think finally I would hope that the ending of Revenge was much better. <laughs> so, and television had gotten a lot better, so. I hope I got a real good rest, Madam Toastmaster. <laughs> Our third contestant, Charles Bernstein. <laughs> like Rip Van Winkle, you fell asleep for 10 years. When you wake up, you found that all your hopes and dreams about our world had come true. It was truly a wonderful place. Name three things that happened while you were asleep. Let me repeat. Like Rip Van Winkle, fell asleep for 10 years. When you woke up, you found that all your hopes and dreams about our world had come true. It was truly a wonderful place. <coughs> Name three things that happened while you were asleep. Fellow Toastmasters, this would be a first for me because generally my hopes and dreams happen only sporadically. And to be able to sleep for 10 years. I mean, lately I've been getting up at 3 a.m. <laughs> but to answer your question, not necessarily in order of importance, certainly world peace would be nice. Let's dispose of that and move on to the next one. The Cubs win. <laughs> now that's a double-edged sword because I have it on very, very good authority that if the Cubs win, Judgment Day will be just <laughs> but, So, it's an example of really need to be careful what you wish for. <laughs> Lastly, wouldn't it be nice if we lived in a world where there was no dirt, no crime, everyone had enough to eat, a good place to sleep. That would be a very good thing, although as very fallible humans, it's quite possible we would screw it up somehow. <laughs> but those would be my three wishes. Adam Toastman. Judges can have as long as they need to complete the round.
Toastmaster, we have on the ballots. Toastmasters International, I'd like to present you with this certification, a certificate of participation for the West Division Table Topics. when I was working is that it made life so simple. You just got behind the wheel and you went. I never made reservations in advance. I stopped and, and stayed whenever I felt like it. And it, you have a destination in mind, a goal, and life is just simple. It's a beautiful thing. Great. And how did you find out or decide to join Toastmasters? Well, uh, I had a lot of time on my hands, and I thought it might be fun. I was in Toastmasters for about six months, about 12 years ago, but because of the press of other business, I had to drop it, and now I find myself with a good deal more time, so I was able to pursue it, and I enjoyed it. I've been in Toastmasters now for about a year. I'd like to, on behalf of Toastmasters International, <laughs> present to you with the Certificate of Participation for the West Division Table Talk. Thank you. Announcements? Going to a break. 
Ten minutes. 